Bono. Just thought I'd share with you a little video here on how to merge a queenless hive with a um, queen present hive. Uh, the hive there on the left there is obviously really weak. I've been through it, checked it for disease. It's clean as so. There's only a couple. There's still a couple of frames in there, so I want to. I want to save them and um, try and merge them with this strong hive. As you can see, it's like really strong. So instead of letting those poor bees die up, um, we're going to try and give them a second chance. If successful, they'll um, get along with the bees in this hive, and then they should start producing, um, working and producing some nectar. So. This technique is um, a little bit different from the normal technique. Um, usually you whack a bit of uh, newspaper on top of the strong hive in between both of them and then you, you whack the weaker hive on top. But uh, I've done this method before and one of the Filipino cousins uh, that I work with showed me. I tried it once and it worked. So I'm assuming it's going to work again hopefully. but. As you can see, that hive is real strong. This is, um, it's August, still August, just not even September yet. Um, she is pumping, pumping out the eggs, pumping out the brood, and um, should be a really, really strong hive for summer. What I'm doing here is just putting down a really, really thick sort of sugary, sugary foundation. This is going to be uh, activating a cleaning method for all the bees. Uh, when they're in this mode, they think less about scrapping and fighting and, and they think more about cleaning and grooming. So when I go to whack this other hive on top, uh, theoretically they're going to be wanting to clean each other instead of kill each other. So it's worked before, so um, it's a good method. Um, it's not going to affect the, the strong hive very much if the weak hive, if they start scrapping, you know, it's, it's strong enough, it can handle it. But um, I just wanted to try and save these, save these other bees, and give them a second chance. Before you go merging any hives, um, you, you got to make sure that you know what you're looking for in terms of disease. Uh, do not go merging hives if they have any traces of foul brood or uh, sac brood, varroa. You know all those sort of types of diseases. Um, it's really crucial that you um, remain you know, quite onto it when checking your diseases. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you enjoyed. If you're going to get into beekeeping, you need to be really onto it and hygienic with your hives. You have to be really hygienic. So, cheers, Farno. Thanks for watching.